How's it going guys, Julie Eftinen here and welcome to the 84 rated second inform Joseph Martinez play review. Much awaited second inform scored a head trick over the weekend for his team and got his second inform. People were really hoping for a year to drop this card and they have dropped this card because of the fact that his first inform was very overpowered so this with you know upgraded stats is even better. He's got himself a plus 3 in all stats, 92 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, 77 passing, 82 physical, he's got phenomenal pace with dribbling and very good shooting with very good physical considering he's only 5 for 7 I believe and then he's got, he's got himself 3 star, weak, three star skill moves and 4 star weak fit which obviously is very usable and he's also got himself a high medium work rate which obviously is great for an offensive player and if you look further into the card what a card this turns out to be he's got himself some exceptional stats for a striker 93 acceleration with 92 sprint speed obviously it can be boosted but I think it is great as it is very very pacey he's also got himself Great shooting, you know, 92 positioning, 89 finishing, 87 shot power, which obviously is great. Long shots is not the best, but he does he doesn't really look like a you know a long shot type of player, more of a lay in behind the defenders type of card. And he's got himself a 80 vision with 83 short passing, so that's all right. He's also got himself 96 agility with 94 balance, 84 ball control, 88 dribbling, which is obviously phenomenal. His composure alongside reactions are not the best. And then he's also got himself a very, very good aerial ability, 95 heading accuracy with 99 jumping. Stamina is also very good with 84, very usable, can obviously play for 120 minutes. So he's got himself even better strength with 82, considering he's only 5 foot 7, so that is obviously something very usable. When you look at stats like those for a striker, you cannot really go wrong. I've used his first inform at that, and we know he was very, very overpowered. He had himself great pace, and this guy right here with even upgraded stats is one hell of a card. I really had fun playing with him. I scored around 10 goals in 3 games, I believe, and uh, missed some chances, but his positioning helped me get into those positions, so obviously he does create a lot of chances, which obviously is great because of you can obviously score on rebounding. But starting off with this price, I think it's a very reasonable price for a very, very good card. He's got himself exceptional stats like we saw, so it's very, you know, reasonable price. His positives, I've stated them to be his pace, agility, finishing and positioning, but he's got a lot more positives. He's got his, his balance to be positive, it's 94. His aerial ability is a positive, it's... 19, 95 heading accuracy, 19 and jumping, also his stamina alongside his strength is very very good, 84 and 83 respectively, so he's a very very good card overall, and then his negatives that I've said, you know, are his reactions, composure and long shots, and I think only those are, you know, the only negatives alongside his height, which we cannot really do anything about, because if you look at his card, he doesn't really have you know any negatives, because obviously composure and reactions are two important stat, but he doesn't have them that really high obviously when you know with this theme of the season card you do expect them to be really really high and also his long shots you know to be a bit better but on a whole with this guy was very very good he's a lay in type of striker you cannot really you know shoot outside the box with him you just with all plus x combo you just pass the ball and he makes a movement and he obviously pass it, pass it to him and he lays it in his agility and balance are obviously really really good alongside his pace a very very phenomenal card you know very fun card to use and the if uh, you know, if you compare it to the car, if you, the cars that I think are quite similar to this car right here are, you know, Hero Mane or any Mane, and you know, also Militants, very very similar car. You know, the 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 feeling is very same. They've got great pace with very very good agility, and they've also got really good shooting. And uh, so obviously, if you cannot afford those, you can buy him because since he's very cheaper. But that was it for this review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.